Hi, I'm Sandesh and this is Making the Right Connection, our series on how to effectively use terminal blocks across applications and industries. In a world that has become increasingly complex, even the machines we make require sensors to capture an increasing number of data points and even more controls need to be executed using actuators. This in turn means that the terminal block which are used to connect these wires need to be specifically engineered to handle small cross-section wires while increasing the wiring density and ensuring error-free signal connection. Connectwell CPPT and CPST range of terminal blocks are specifically designed and engineered for control systems with sensor and actuator applications. Let us dig into why these terminal blocks are the most optimum way to connect your sensors and actuators. The first and the most obvious thing you will notice about this range of terminal blocks is that they are built with push-in connection technology, which means that it is incredibly easy to connect small gauge wires like the one I have in my hand. It can be quite a tedious and a time-consuming task to try doing this with screw clamp terminal blocks. This push-in connection technology alone can reduce the wiring time by 90%. To create an optimum control circuit for sensors and actuators, you will need both the CPPT and CPST range of terminal blocks. The CPST range of terminal blocks are the sensor terminals which connect to the sensors directly. These can be either 3-wire or 4-wire sensors or sensors that have an additional grounding connection. If you observe closely, this side of the terminal block is the one used to connect the sensor signal, while this other side of the terminal block is used to actually bring in power to the sensors. Which brings me to the CPPT series terminal blocks, which are the power feed-in terminals. On this side of the terminal block is where we connect the power and even the grounding that needs distribution. The other side of the terminal block is where we connect the push-in jumpers to cross-connect them with the sensor terminal blocks. A typical sensor terminal block assembly with both CPST and CPPT terminal blocks looks like this. As you can see, this is the power terminal block which has color-coded push buttons, which enables error-free connection of polarized power supply. And then, using external jumpers like these, you can create a circuit to distribute the power from this power terminal blocks to the sensor terminals. One of the most important features of the CPST sensor terminals is the fact that you have one single terminal block dedicated to one sensor, which when using traditional terminal blocks was not possible. Other things worth noting include the fact that these sensor terminal blocks are the world's thinnest terminal blocks with a pitch of just 3.5 mm. This allows for a really high wiring density with wires as thin as 0.2 square mm up to 1.5 square mm. Also, if you look at this block, you will observe that the markers are strategically placed such that it offers great visibility when installed. The CPST series sensor terminal blocks can be provided with LED indicators which operates in a range of 6 to 60 volts and 110 to 240 volts. All in all, the connectable CPST and CPPT terminal block combination can be a great choice for control panel builders when they are trying to connect multiple sensor actuator loops as these help in increasing the wiring density and reduce the size of the control panels. I hope this video has been able to help you understand how to effectively use sensor actuator terminal blocks in your applications. If you have any queries regarding terminal blocks or their usage in your applications, please do get in touch with us. Till next time, stay well and stay connected.